What's going on guys, JSGC here and we are here for another Manchester City video. Today we're going to be doing a video recommendation that someone recommended to me on Twitter which was to have a look at potential managers that could replace Pep Guardiola if he doesn't renew his contract by the end of the season. So Pep's contract is up at the end of this season. Next summer, if he doesn't renew his contract, he will leave Manchester City and we will need a new manager who could replace Pep. We're going to have a look at that in this video. But make sure, like always, if you are enjoying the content and you want to help support my channel, plenty more Manchester City content coming up very soon as well, then make sure you subscribe, press that red button, press the bell and put your push notifications on. We're on the big march towards 14,000 subscribers, so any help towards that would be much appreciated. Don't forget also, social media links, they're in the description below and sliding across at the bottom of the screen if you want to go and follow me on my Twitter and Instagram, email also in the description below too. If you want to hit me up for any sponsorships for any videos or any general business inquiries, leave a thumbs up if you enjoy this video and most importantly, let me know which manager you would like to replace Pep at the end of the season if he doesn't renew his contract let me know in the comments below and so we're going to crack on with this video we're going to look at five managers but we've got some honorable mentions as well um these are managers that i think city are going to have a look at is going to be on my top five but the managers that are mentioned in the honorable mentions are also managers that i think city will have a good look at i'm just going off uh, in my opinion what may be realistic for manchester city to have a look at so starting off this list we're going to go in at number five with marcelo bielsa experienced and a really good job at leeds um he plays that nice passing attacking style. He's getting used to the Premier League as well and would be an option that Manchester City may consider if Bielsa did want the job. Like I said, plays the attacking football, likes the passing style of football, likes possession-based football. Very, very similar to Pep. More experienced than Pep as well. That, in my opinion, may be an option. I've put him in at five because I think there's managers out there that City may consider more realistic that we may have a look at. Albeit Bielsa's done a really good job at Leeds, making that step up from Leeds to Manchester City is a big step up, and I think City may have a look elsewhere rather than at Bielsa. But uh, if City don't get their top targets, they need to identify somebody else, and I think Bielsa may be a man that City may consider. Now at number four, a very interesting option comes in the form of Patrick Vieira. And the key word there is an option for City to consider. Um, Patrick Vieira, he worked really well with New York City Football Club. He's worked in the CFG, the City Football Group as well. That experience and working with, um, obviously, with the City Football Group and Manchester City being part of the City Football Group is always going to go in his favour. And like I said, he went to New York and did a good job at New York. I'm fairly sure he got them uh, into the playoffs as well. And so he was making some good progress with New York City Football Club. Then he left New York City Football Club to chance his hand at another club going back to his native France and took over as the manager of OGC Nice. And just last season, had them finishing in fifth in Liga 1 uh, and earning them a place in Europe uh, for next season. And so I'm wondering that if Patrick Vieira has made good progress with New York City Football Club, he's made good progress with Nice, if he can guide them towards Champions League football by uh, the end of this season, then... Um, on his CV, it's it's looking like a very strong, progressive managerial uh, career for Patrick Vieira. And like I said, considering his work with Manchester City and the City Football Group as well, he could be an option that Manchester City have a look at. And like I said, if he's continuing to make progress with the clubs that he's working at, then he's doing a good job. Uh, and I also had a look at the uh, bookmakers and what odds they were putting out there, and Patrick Vieira... He's right up there, so he may be an option that City do have a look at. I found that really interesting. I would like to know your thoughts of that in the comments below. Now, going in at number three, we've got Mauricio Pochettino. Definitely an option for Manchester City to consider. Uh, we know he's got Premier League experience with his time at uh, Southampton and Tottenham Hotspur. Uh, we know that he likes to play attacking football, passing football and possession-based football. The problem with Pochettino is I don't see him being out of football management for another season. He got sacked as the Tottenham Hotspur, unfairly in my opinion, sacked as Tottenham Hotspur Spurs manager last season. He's then taken, uh, he, he's near enough a year off now out of football. I would have thought that uh, should any of the top six sides not get off to the start that they're looking at, and I've got one club in mind when I'm, when I'm mentioning this, that uh, any of the top six sides, if they choose to uh, sack their manager 
midway through this season that they would then go on to try and get Pochettino. And the rumours are Manchester United are unhappy with what's happening with Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. Uh, apparently they've already lined up Pochettino as their new manager at Manchester United. Uh, and so if Solskjaer doesn't sort it out then uh, he could be gone soon possibly and Pochettino could go in and if that does happen then Pochettino will not become Manchester City's manager evidently obviously um, and so yeah uh, I feel like he'd be a good fit for Manchester United um, I can see him like I said I don't see him having another year out in football if City wanted Pochettino it would take for them to quite soon as well say that Pep isn't renewing his contract don't accept any contract offers because we want you as our manager. And I simply do not see Manchester City doing that. And so while Pochettino would be an option if he's out of football management, I'm not sure that he will by the time that Pep makes a decision as to whether he'll sign a new contract at Manchester City. And I think Pochettino will end up elsewhere. If he didn't, though, I think he'd be a good option. I like Pochettino. I think he's a good manager. But... That's just my opinion. Now, moving in at number two option that Manchester City could consider is uh, a manager that uh, excites me. It's a risk, but it excites me. It comes in the form of Julian Nangelsmann, the manager in charge at RB Leipzig. He was, of course, in charge at Hoffenheim previously to that. Got Hoffenheim into the Champions League. We played Hoffenheim in the Champions League whilst Nangelsmann was the uh, manager there. Very difficult manager to break down. A very dynamic uh, counter-attacking manager who knows how to defend and attack. He likes to play a free at the back. His formation and philosophy is a little bit different to that of Pep Guardiola. So if City wanted to change up their um, ideas and style a little bit. Then Nangelsmann, in my opinion, such a young manager, only 33 years old would be a good option. I mean, I find that crazy that there's a, a manager in charge of a club where players that are still playing for the club are older than the manager. But he's a really, really good manager. Uh, he's very dynamic. He wants the best out of his team. He knows how to get results. He knows how to uh, have his team play in some really good, nice, attacking, attractive football, which is everything City would look for. Like I said, will City go for change? I'm not so sure that they would. However, if Nangelsmann was interested in the City job, I would hope that City would uh, listen to him uh, and, and speak with him and potentially have a look at bringing him in as a manager. In terms of this word long term and wanting to bring in a manager that's going to be here for the next five to ten uh, seasons, someone like Nangelsmann, in my opinion anyway, would definitely make sense. Also... Angelino's at uh, RB Leipzig, so City have got some good working relationships with Leipzig. I would have thought, though, that uh, if Nangelsmann knew that he was going to get the Manchester City job, that he wouldn't want uh, Angelino going to Leipzig on a permanent basis. He'd want him at Manchester City, but considering um, Nangelsmann really likes Angelino and playing him, and all of a sudden then we've got rid of Angelino, a player that doesn't suit our style. We're bringing a manager where his style and Angelino's style would suit Manchester City. Not sure if I see it happening or not, but like I said, he's young, it excites me, anything could happen. And like I said, if you're looking for someone long-term replacing Pep Guardiola, then Nangelsmann could well be that man. Now, looking quickly at some honourable mentions, these are managers that shouldn't be disregarded in my opinion. First up, Luis Enrique, the Spain manager, contract up after the European Championships in the summer. Nice passing style of football, attacking style of football, obviously got the links at Barcelona, would make him um, an option for Manchester City to consider. No experience in the Premier League, it would be a risk, a safe risk I would say, for Manchester City to consider. Another one he could consider, familiar name and face, Vincent Company, of course in charge at Anderlecht. If he does a really good season at Anderlecht, and I mean like push them towards the Champions League and winning the Belgium League, then surely he would be an option that City would consider possibly coming back to manage our fantastic club. Fantastic, Captain Fantastic returning back to the Etihad. Sounds good. I reckon he needs more experience, in my personal opinion. Now, Diego Simeone, another big name that would be chucked out there that I'm sure would be linked with the City job. Uh, very expensive, on a lot of wage at Atletico Madrid. I'm fairly sure I've read somewhere that he's the highest paid football manager in the world. So I don't see City breaking their wage structure to make that happen, but I could be wrong. His style of play would suit the Premier League. He's a very negative, absorbing manager. Um, I can see him at, at Chelsea or somewhere like that rather than Manchester City. Uh, another manager, Eric Ten Hag, the Ajax manager. He likes that nice passing, flow and attacking possession-based football. He's done a really good job with Ajax. Had a good season in that 18-19 season, guiding Ajax to the Champions League semi-final. 
should really have got to the final, in my opinion. Would City make a move? Remains to be seen. Since he have never really done much business with Ajax, so that's why I've not put him in my top five, but I could be wrong. Uh, another manager, Joachim Lowe, Germany manager, a familiar name with, uh, obviously, with everyone in football. He's won the World Cup with Germany. He's got a really good CV um, as well. Would he be an option if he was to leave um, Germany to possibly take up club, club football? Possibly. New ideas. Not really been managing uh, any time recently in domestic football. So I'm not sure if City would go down that route. I can see Joachim Lowe taking charge of someone in Germany rather than in England, which is why he's on my honourable mentions. Uh, another manager that will be mentioned out there is Brendan Rodgers. Uh, obviously, he's done good a good job at Leicester City. Um... He's Premier League experienced. He's not a manager that I would like, if I'm completely honest. I think uh, whilst he likes playing passing football, he's a little bit negative. I feel like we could do better. That's just my opinion. But like I said, he will be linked with a City job. That's why I put him on this list. And uh, the last honourable mention is uh, Gian Piero Gasparini. He's the Atalanta manager. A very attacking manager who loves goals, loves attacking. He's done a fantastic job at Atalanta as well. Limited resources to get them into the Champions League back to back. They also made it to, to the uh, quarterfinals and very nearly did a job on PSG in the Champions League. They made it life very difficult at the Etihad and at the San Siro when we was playing Atalanta. Some new ideas, fresh blood. A manager that's not really been mentioned could well be an option. Now, moving on to number one. In my opinion, um, this is the manager that I would like at Manchester City, Kel Arteta. Now, he has done a wonderful job at Arsenal. He's turned around their mentality into a winning mentality. Not City out the FA Cup in the semi-final last season. Took Arsenal on to that next step into the, into the final to win the FA Cup with Arsenal. They then went on in the next se in this season that we've just gone on to to win the Community Shield with Arsenal, keeping that winning momentum going. He's just knocked out. Liverpool out of the Carabao Cup. He's got a home match against Pep Guardiola, against Manchester City in the Carabao Cup. And Mikel Arteta, he has the same ideas, the same philosophy as Pep. He wants to win everything. And it wouldn't surprise me at all if uh, City are knocked out by Arsenal and Arsenal go on to win the Carabao Cup. Winning breeds winning. And that is exactly, in my opinion, what Manchester City need for someone to take over from Pep Guardiola. Mikel Arteta has obviously been the assistant manager under Pep. I consider him the apprentice to Pep and a move for Arteta would make sense. Now obviously uh, Mikel Arteta has played for Arsenal. He's familiar with everything at Arsenal and he's doing a really good job at Arsenal. And so he may not want to leave Arsenal, which is fair enough if he doesn't, but he may want to as well. If Manchester City come in and say we're going to invest in the squad, we want you to come to Manchester City, we want you to spearhead Manchester City onto the next goals to get that Premier League back, to win the Champions League and propel us forward, there's a big project there. Mikel Arteta's worked with a lot of the players, he's worked with the club, he knows exactly what to expect. It's a good, safe option that I would hope that Manchester City would definitely consider. Uh, Arsenal, the one thing City's got an advantage of over Arsenal is investment. Man City will invest in their squad, they will invest in the infrastructure of the club, they will invest in the club and they will invest in him as a manager. Can I say the same about Arsenal? Arsenal will invest a little bit, nowhere near to the standard of Manchester City. And if Mikel Arteta guides Arsenal to a Champions League place as well at the end of the season, I would say he's been an absolute outstanding success at Arsenal. My opinion though, I feel like he's limited at Arsenal. Could he propel Arsenal with the investment they've got onto uh, winning the Champions League and winning the Premier League? My answer, no. Can he do it at Manchester City? My answer, yes. And that, in my opinion, would be a really good option for Manchester City to consider should Pep Guardiola not renew his contract and leave next summer. So let me know in the comments below which manager would you like to replace Pep Guardiola and why. Let me know then in the comments below. Leave a thumbs up if you have enjoyed this video. Don't forget also subscribe if you're new around here. Press that red button, press the bell and put your push notifications on to be notified immediately for when I do upload. Aiming for 14,000 subscribers. So any help towards that would be much appreciated. Lots more football and Manchester City content coming very soon. Transfer updates towards the end of the domestic window now. Keep you up to date with all the latest transfer news throughout all of the autumn and winter before we get on to daily transfer updates in January.
January. We're also going to be doing live watch-alongs, fan reactions, and lots of general Man City videos as well for everyone to look forward to, so make sure that you do subscribe. And don't forget also, social media links in the description below and sliding across at the bottom of the screen. If you want to go and follow me on my Twitter and Instagram email, also in the description below too, if you want to hit me up for any sponsorships for any videos or any general business inquiries. And I'll see you all again very soon, at some point in the week, I hope, for another Manchester City video. So I've been JSGC. Thank you everyone for watching. I hope everyone is safe and well. Peace. Ciao for now.